post went viral on social media about the dangers of phytic acid for our bones. And when a leading osteoporosis health organisation put out the statement that phytates reduce the amount of calcium available to our bones because they bind with calcium and other minerals when we eat any food alongside phytate-rich foods like beans, nuts and whole grains, many people were concerned. Now, this study conducted on rats did seem to confirm phytate's status as a quote-unquote anti-nutrient. But it's important to note that the researchers did feed them the equivalent of 10 loaves of bread a day. And then this series of animal laboratory experiments suggested that high phytate diets do have a bone softening and anti-calcifying effect. But this was a study published in 1949 and was sadly done on puppies. So what about human bones? Do phytates put our bones at risk? Well, this study found that when measurements from people's heel, spine and hip were taken, those who consumed more high phytate foods had stronger bones, with researchers concluding that dietary phytate consumption had protective effects against osteoporosis and that low phytate consumption is considered an osteoporosis risk factor. What is also fascinating is that phytates were found to inhibit the dissolution of bone, similar to anti-osteoporosis drugs. But this might be the most important study, where scientists measured phytate levels circulating through women's bodies, whilst also following their bone mass over time. And the researchers found that the women with the highest phytate levels had the lowest levels of bone loss in their spine and their hip. So it meant that those who ate the most phytates had significantly lower risks of major fracture and lower risk of hip fracture. This was hypothesised to be due to the fact that phytates can help block the formation of bone-eating cells and also their bone-eating activity. And this is what anti-osteoporosis drugs like Fosamax do. Similarly, this study from 2021 concluded, our data suggests that phytates may have a role in osteoporosis prevention. From this study follows the importance of the consumption of phytate-rich foods, like nuts and legumes, to protect against the risk of osteoporosis. But what about our gut lining? Is it true that beans can increase the risk of leaky gut and gut issues? We'll explore this next. <laughs> 